Good evening, I'm Micah Ohm. And I'm Leela Feinstein. In tonight for Cher Calvin, the news at 6 starts right now. Got the pilot who's trying to take control of a situation on That's a plane right. with a passenger. And being very calm Thank indeed. You. But You're wow, good. to see something like that, you just can't imagine what the passengers are feeling right. like. And with the cell phone video, we see it all. Mm. All right. Well, now we want to switch gears a little bit, yeah. talk about the weather outside. And Vera Jimenez, a gorgeous, gorgeous. No free nuclear plant is ordered shut down until further notice, developing details ahead. Also at six, police at Colorado's fast moving wildfires have now turned deadly. A man and a woman were killed as six. 16 homes burned to the ground southeast of Denver. At least 900 other era, and that is it for the news at 6. KTLA News continues next here at 6.30. You know, Mike, I don't think it's much of a reach to say we could all use more feel-good stories like this. Two deputies who would say they were merely doing their jobs risk their lives to carry out a woman just one year from her 90th birthday who was lying on the floor and couldn't get up as her house was engulfed in flames. Well, those two brave deputies were treated for smoke inhalation and they are expected to be okay. Meantime, there's still no official word on what sparked that fire. I'm Leela Feinstein. Michael, let's send it back to you. Live team coverage continues now with the question of the fans, something Tommy Lasorda mentioned on the phone a moment ago. What do fans think of the news? Well, David Begno continues our coverage of the sale of the dark. And another big story tonight, passengers scramble to subdue an airline pilot who appears to have suffered a mid-air meltdown. Tonight, that JetBlue captain is in custody and passengers are talking about a flight they will never forget. Well, in a related statement, JetBlue said the incident was a medical situation involving the captain. The captain identified as Clayton Osmond. Hopeful Mitt Romney crisscrossed Southern California today. His whirlwind visit, including fundraisers, protests, and even an appearance on late night TV. KTLA's Brandy Hit is live in Century City, where Romney is. Coming up, a good Samaritan shot to death. His killers caught on tape. Next, to look at the brazen. A good Samaritan is dead tonight after trying to help a jewelry shop owner by chasing down a group of smash and grab robbers. Now, police don't know who the suspects are, but they do have some crystal clear surveillance video, and they hope someone watching tonight may recognize the men. KTLA 5 Sarah Welch reports. Pope Benedict XVI prayed for freedom and renewal for the people of Cuba on day two of an historic visit to the island nation. Not something I would have expected, nor do I want. Stick to the Americana. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, uh, speaking of disgusting, yeah. she says her baby loves it, but... KTLA 5, tensions boiled over outside the courthouse. KTLA's Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost has the story. Clueless actress Alicia Silverstone is getting mixed reaction to a video she posted that shows her feeding her son in a rather unusual way. One thing's for sure, everyone is talking about it. The okay, Vera, thank you. Coming up in Sports Final, Dodgers general manager Ned Coletti joins us on the phone to react to the sale of the team to a group led by Magic Johnson. Plus, an unlucky cat got more.